It's an experience for both tourists and guards. Though over in a flash, a trip to Dokdo makes for a significant milestone. They have your Korean name here. Oh, really? Yeah, here is your Korean, not Agnes Davi, it's Song Dong Hee. You have oh, your most special my first ID card at Song Dong Hee. Yeah. <laughs> I became a Korean citizen on Dokdo. Oh, right. Oh my god, that is so symbolic. <laughs> The two are given an additional honor, a visit to Sado, the other main island. Just 150 meters away was an even more remote sector, a place most people aren't allowed to traverse. Stop. Yeah. Oh. Stop right here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look. There's a passenger oh, tourist. Passenger boat. Yeah. The tourist. But they're not on this island. <laughs> Water, earth, and the sky above. Dodo comprises the most basic, enduring elements. It's said to symbolize the essence of the country's own spirit. And, rising from the ocean, it offers a unique view from its place amidst a canvas of deep blue. One can understand the people's dedication to such an enduring form. And there, there's our ship. <laughs> our very special ship. Very special, yeah. yeah. I didn't realize that we came from so far. Mm, me neither. You know, anything hard to get is more attractive. Yeah. But I'm here. I feel this is Korea. beautiful. I mean, because it's actually beautiful. Yeah, and I guess it's not only about the island, it's also about the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's very symbolic, yeah. Uh -huh. And the most easterners part. Yeah, I don't know how to say. it's the most part of Korea. At first, why did you choose to come to Dokdo? Why did you want to? Oh, what it's the reason. Ah, uh, that was the historical reason. Historical reason? Hmm. With Japan. Oh, yeah. that thing, yes. I mean, anything that... I don't know why, but it's not that I like, but I get hooked when I hear historical conflict kind of stories. Yeah. And, uh, and I also like parts where nobody else can go. I mean, it has happened to me many times with this, with this job. Uh, not because I would, be, would have the privilege to go on a coastal police ship, but sometimes just because you have to travel and spend a lot of time walking and you, I mean, like in order to reach your point, yeah. uh, you see things that other people don't. And this is why it's also important to document yeah. and to witness and to bring back yeah. evidences and photography. I mean, that's what I mean by yeah. photography. Yeah. Dokdo aligns perfectly with the places Anes is most drawn to. Its distance from the peninsula, the rocky journey to get there, and of course, the people one meets along the way. That's what makes Dokdo unique. At this easternmost point is where the rising sun first greets the land. Just 87 kilometers from Dokdo in the East Sea is a volcanic island of Ulungdo. Each morning, rows of boats return to Jodong Port, a major Ulungdo harbor. They have each spent the night fishing for squid. Jadong has earned the nickname Squidport, as it is Korea's largest market for squid. Each day is marked by bustling activity, with fishmongers preparing and distributing the fresh catch. 
A nurse is entranced by the rapid handiwork of the women who gut and clean the squid in a flash. So many squid. So this is a market only for squid? Or right now, it looks like... In the morning? Yeah, yeah, in the morning. It's very exciting it on top of being yes. in the market. And they are just from the sea. So fresh. Most of the squid go straight to auction. Buyers and fishermen haggle fiercely over prices as the market becomes a makeshift battleground. Negotiations, hard bargains, and deals are finally reached as the auctioneer works. Ines captures a photo that conveys her own thoughts. The people here, in all their seriousness, look more like black market merchants than fishmongers. I love markets. It's always a good picture. Like if I arrive in a city or in a I mean, the town or a market, I would always go to the market. People have such strong faces. I really like. Yeah. Witnessing the process, the start of the fishing trade, and the liveliness of the scene was exactly what the photographer was looking for. Even though the fishermen have been at sea all night, the first thing they move to land isn't their tired feet, but the squid. Precious cargo procured by hard labor and sweat. For you? But I don't know how to eat it. He shared his catch with the onlookers. <laughs> I am the winner! Kamsami! <laughs> Where is it? Come here. We need some kind of bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm not just. <laughs> the generosity of the locals. The pair had a chance to learn about the people's livelihoods, the difficulties and challenges of life by the sea. Ink from the skin? They, they all have it, right? They all have it. Yeah, yeah. The ozingo hagyogi, that's it, that's it. The ozingo hagyogi, that's it. The ozingo hagyogi, that's it. The ozingo hagyogi, that's it. Although the fishermen would lose profit selling on a cloudy day like today, instead of blaming the weather, they take it all in stride. They work as hard as ever, tough, and with a strong sense of pride. Ulundung squid market early in the morning. I wish that would be just a little bit sharper, but it's actually okay. You have a lot of movement, it's just market. So market is chaos. Uh, they had to hurry because the squid have to remain fresh. Uh, they are real adjumas. Uh, hard work, fast, lots of things happening. It's like the for me, it's very much like the Korean woman who's fighting no matter what. Anyway, there are some, a lot of things that say that Ajumas, they fight for their family and they're the best.